So, <clears throat> I'm talking to Valerie Nickel, who's a, a wonderful artist. Her art is just gorgeous in um, southern Ontario. I'm not quite sure how long she's been painting, but um, I imagine it must have been a fair length of time to develop the kind of talent she's got. Um, just looking at some of her work, as you will see uh, on the blog here, if you look, um, is it's um, it's heart stopping. That's what I found. I just I went ah, when I saw it first <laughs> on on the uh, on the net. I I can't imagine what it would be like to stand in front of it. Um, so she it's what her work is what you would call abstract, and um, in in uh, acrylics and gels and so on. And the only thing I can say is that um. But what I'd just like to say is that there's some it, it con conveys the emotion directly without your need for words. I mean, there's no words to explain it, really. I mean, you can use words, but they don't... The, the, the paintings themselves say everything they need to say. And um, I, I found... Um, I remembered and found um, a, a, a little quote. William Wordsworth, in 1802, wrote a very popular poem called Daffodils. Everybody, pretty well everybody in school <laughs> did that poem. But you know, it finishes, and then my heart with pleasure fills and dances with the daffodils. And, and that's exactly how I feel when I look at um, oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> that's one of my paintings. favorite poems. <laughs> <laughs> when I look at her paintings, that's exactly how I feel. And uh, I just really thank her for for being in the world and doing this work. Valerie, um, how, how did you get in, like how did you get started, like what, 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 what was it that brought you into, into doing this painting, this kind of painting? Well, um, I, was, I was brought up with piano lessons, my mom was a piano teacher and uh, so I took lessons from somebody who was a visual artist and the two of us went off to the Yukon and we were so, the landscape was so inspiring and um, I started with sculpture, and I, I saw the little Eskimo thing of a bird, and I just loved it so much, and I wanted to do my own rendition of a bird, so that's that's how I got started, basically. And then it went from there into color, because I love color. And, and uh, so that's how I got started. That's wonderful. That's just great. There's so, every time, just about everybody I talk to has some kind of experience with a mentor or people adults around there doing painting or whatever it's, it's just great that kind yeah. of inspiration um so can can you t talk a little bit about the actual um themes the, the the way in which you came to the theme that you that you express and uh, the the media you use and so on how that interacts media versus theme and so on well, I first started with sculpture, and I love texture and, and form, so it made sense to put texture on paintings, because uh, that kind of takes the best out of, the, out of the sculpture. Well, not the best, but something out of the sculpture world. Sure. And put it into the painting. But my paintings are basically, I look at landscape, I love looking at landscape, and it turns around in my mind and comes out into, um, into what I paint. So it's actually taking out of nature, transforming it into, into what I do on, on the canvas. Wow, that's really interesting.